Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we got another catch, clean, and cook for you. So y'all stay tuned. Okay, well, the weather finally allowed us to get our little boat out to salt water. We went out to Hollower Canal to try to catch some giant drum for you guys. And this is what happened. Hey, good morning. It's a crack of damn dark 30. We got the old boat ready. Gonna get her hooked up and drag it to some salt water. So we are now on um, Canaveral National Seashore and there's a, a duck hunting area over here. It's kind of uh, impoundments. And over there is the Kennedy Space Center. You might be able to see a couple of the towers and launch pads. There is actually a big rocket uh, getting ready to go up over there. So this is what happens in Florida when we get hard freezes. These are all snook. Some huge ones there too. All dead. Thousands of them. So folks, bailing from this spot right now. Water temperature's 52. Nothing going on at all. Uh, huge fish kill is snook in here. So we're gonna head to uh, Port Canaveral, which is open to the ocean. That's going to be a lot higher water temperature than up here inside. So let's get it on the trailer and I'll see if we can make anything of this trip. Alright, so that was the last thing I expected to see when I went over there. I heard some rumors that some of the backwaters there were some issues uh, with the fish dying from cold weather and uh, I had to see it for myself. So, uh, you know, I made the call, put it on the trailer, take it down the road. And this is what happened. Okay, first fish of the day. Sheep said 11 and 3 quarters. He's got to be 12 inches long. So, no clean and cook on this guy. Big enough. Yeah, that's big enough. Ooh. Trying to bite me. <laughs> nice one, about 14 inches. <laughs> All right, Seal's got a black drum. Bring him on in. Glad well, we finally found some place to catch some fish today. I don't know if he's going to be legal. We'll, we'll uh, check him out. Okay, here's our convicts. Black drum. When they're babed like this, they're always nice and striped. And of course, sheep said, both excellent eating. Wearing their ass out now. Strong one. Oh, yeah, he's a keeper. Oh, my God. Bring him up here. Oh, my God. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, it's hard to film, be a YouTube star, and fish, and run the boat, and net the fish, and do a bait the hooks. All right, another good keeper, sheep's head. All right, guys, Mrs. Backwoods whooping my ass. There's another nice uh, three and a half, four pounder right there. <clears throat> the teeth on them thing. Alright guys. 
Pretty redfish. A little too short to keep that. Awesome, don't they? All right, well, we're gonna cook them up now. We made sure we packed those, we put them, those fillets right in the ice bag, just completely covered them ice. Made some holes in the ice bag to make sure the water drains on them. You don't want them sitting in water, okay? You want to keep them as dry as possible. So we got them back here. We trimmed them up a little bit. So it's now it's time to cook them. All right, so we got the Sportsman's Grill set up. Lump charcoal today. All right. Got a good deal on some lump charcoal. We're gonna let it get hot. We want a hot pan for this, and we may have to flip the grill over to get the temperature we need. But we're gonna uh, start out with our sides, and then we'll get on down to our sheephead uh, fillets, which will be our uh, final part of our entree. So we got the uh, our good old lodge that we just uh, ground out make it smooth we got it set up here on the uh, sportsman's grill getting hot over that uh, lump charcoal I see you know, we're kind of unlevel here on this surface which you're probably gonna run into that same situation you know especially uh, outdoors let's roll that around in the pan a little bit and let it get hot so we're getting a little shimmer off that oil now a little bit of smoke going in with it, like a pat of butter. And that butter will kind of float on top of the olive oil and help keep these shrimp from sticking. These are uh, some medium shrimp. You need about a dozen per serving, okay? These are uh, medium wild caught. We caught these ourselves. Uh, just pull them over vacuum packed in the freezer. Pull them out and uh, peel them in detail, completely peel them. So we're going to go ahead and saute them off there, marinated in Everglades seasoning, some garlic, and olive oil. So we just took the shrimp out, we're coming in with about a, a third of a diced sweet onion. We use shallot also. Gonna kind of get that going real quick. But we got a kind of a big chunk in there, but that's alright. Break them up a little bit. 
The moisture from those onions is going to kind of deblaze the shrimp and garlic, brown garlic that's on the bottom of the pan. And if it needs a little oil, come on in with a little bit of butter. That's what we'll do right now. A little bit of butter. The pan's getting nice and hot. Give those just a little time to pick up some color. And deglaze that pan pretty well. Now we're coming in with about a cup and a half of baby spinach. And we're just going to wilt that down right in those onions and butter and all. It's yummy goodness. Just as the spinach is wilted, got the homemade uh, Alfredo sauce I made earlier today. Add in with that. We'll bring that all up to a nice bubble. Right into that, coming back with shrimp. Like I said, about a dozen or so per uh, serving. You can go more if you'd like. And we don't want to cook the shrimp anymore or that spinach anymore. All we want to do is heat this up. So we're going to go ahead and pull that off the fire. So here are our sheep head fillets. So we're going to go ahead and just drizzle them a little olive oil. Got them on a platter so it makes it easy. Oh man, I'm making a mess. And uh, we're going to get them coated on all sides. Just flop them back and forth in the olive oil. Should be good. Right, that was that big one Mrs. Backwoods caught. Wow, that was sucker was nice. So straight on with the uh, Backwoods Gourmet's favorite seasoning, a Seminole Swamp. This is the original light coat both sides don't get crazy just like uh, most uh, seasonings nowadays including Everglades can get a little salty okay a light sprinkle and those will be ready for the pan okay guys I, as with this pan's getting new pans getting hot I just discovered something and this is I'm really excited about this I, I like I don't have a 10 inch lid for this uh, new lodge whenever I grab my Dutch oven lid from my uh, 10 inch lodge pan fits perfect that could open up a whole nother world for the backwoods gourmet okay in comes the sheep head super smoking hot pan that's what we want I'm gonna put about two at a time in there just to keep from pulling all that heat out So right before we're ready to serve, I threw the shrimp back up there and just brought it to a boil. And uh, what we're going to do is put our uh, al dente uh, fettuccine right up in there. Now if you don't know what al dente means, I'll translate that from Italian to backwoods. And that means damn near done. Okay? So it ain't completely done, but it's damn near done. And it's going to finish cooking right there in that sauce. So that's all the heat that thing needs. We're going to go ahead and pull it off the fire. And put that lid right back on. So one of the things I hope you take away from this video is that that large sportsman's grill can also be, also be used as a stove. You know, a charcoal stove basically. And that's what we use it for to cook this entire meal. Alright, so... You know, if you got one of those or you like to get one of those, check out our Amazon store. We got them there every day for a great price. 
we'll leave the link for you in the first comment. And go in here to our uh, shrimp alfredo, and man, that smells awesome with the, the spinach and the shrimp. Go ahead and give yourself a little pile of those in the middle there. The pasta's being kind of impales them. Get a few more shrimp. You see how that that uh, pasta's just like soaked up the Alfredo sauce. Right. Get that warm over there. I'm going to come in with our seared off sheep's head filet and I mean it is freaking gorgeous right across the top there for garnish we got a couple of uh, that's a Florida native uh, navel orange a little bit of cilantro here on the side for a little greenery. And the final garnish, a little shake of Seminole Swamp right over the plate. But it's not quite final until this is a pasta dish. So we're going to go ahead and uh, grate a little Parmigiano Reggiano. Next time you go fishing, if you catch one of these convict fish, which is what I call them because they're black and white striped, make sure you bring them home. Try this dish. You'll be happy that you did. Mm. Mm. the Backwoods Gourmet. If you like what we're doing, hit that like button right down there. To subscribe to our channel for a whole lot more, check it out right there. To see our last video, it's right up here. And for a whole playlist of cooking fish and seafood outdoors, it's right up there. We'll see you next time.